we're going to do a very short and sweet reading on Taylor, Taylor Swift. No, uh, Harry Styles and Taylor Russell because they are apparently dating. So let's see if they're compatible. You know, let's see what works, what doesn't, what's the future of their relationship. Okay, so Harry Styles, energy towards Taylor Russell, Taylor's energy towards Harry Styles, energy between the two of them. So Harry's coming through as the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is kind of a cool toned energy. This is the feeling of like, I'm not really taking action. I'm just letting things come to me however they're going to come to me. So I don't see him um, taking any forward action. I see it as like being receptive to whatever happens. Now, why is Taylor Russell coming through as the Magician in reverse? Okay, all I can tell you is that communication issues are already starting to surface between Taylor and Harry. It's not that they're going to end badly. It's that she has trouble communicating. He has trouble following through with his word or his promises or his actions. And they need to talk about that because they don't talk. Magician reverse is no talking or miscommunication. Queen of Swords is someone icing someone out sometimes. So... The way that I see it, like um, someone here could be an air sign or a fire sign, by the way. So basically, I think they have some stuff to work on if they don't want this to end badly uh, or if they want this to continue on and become an actual relationship. Harry, I feel, needs to be a bit more stable and kind of like do what you say you're going to do. It's OK to make promises. Um and to follow through with your actions, you know, basically. Uh, and with Taylor, it's like it's okay to communicate. You're not going to get in trouble if you communicate. But also, you should communicate something. You don't have to get defensive about it or you don't have to, like, get too snarky about it. Like, just, just say what you need. Like, literally just tell the person and they will probably give it to you, okay? Harry's feelings towards Taylor Russell. Ace of Swords in reverse. That's regrets. Why is are we, are we sure they're in a relationship? Why the frick is this? What's going on? That's like, a, are they already broken up? Am I, I'm sorry, Taylor and Harry. Am I catching you at a bad time? Like, are you guys arguing right now? Because why is this the energy? What the hell? Um, that's not so good because that's a tower. That's five of cups. That's literally emotional disappointment. Maybe they are mid argument right now. All I can tell you is if they don't work on their communications, I don't see this moving forward. Very clear message. Uh, Taylor's message, uh, feelings towards Harry. We're talking about Taylor Russell. <laughs> um, Seven of Swords. Okay, I feel like I've done as much as I can. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. No matter what we do, the odds are stacked against our favor. And that's like misfortune. That's bad luck long term. So she, she, does she have a string of bad relationships? Taylor feels like her relationships are always doomed to fail. What are they fighting about? That is the high priestess. That's trust. That is trust. Mm. That is four of swords. Rejection. Six of swords. Reverse. Hmm. So again, they're fighting about stability. They're like, I don't want things to change. Is someone about to go on a tour or like a trip? Like, is Harry about to go somewhere else? Well, he probably goes everywhere around the world like all the time, right? But this is the feeling of like, you're about to leave me and get on a flight and not be around me. How can I trust that you're not going to pick up girls or like guys? Or how can I trust that you're going to reject people or say no to them if they throw themselves at you if you're away from me? Now, I'm going to try to interpret this differently, okay? Put down your pitchforks. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's trust issues. That's all I can think about. What are they fighting about? Let me get some more information. Nine of Wands, defensiveness, carefulness, around self-sabotage, the temperance card, balance. It could also be that there's something to do with, like, um, because the Five of Cups, that's also drugs, liquor, any type of vices. If one of them promised the other person, I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah. And they do it, you know. So there's something about boundaries or kind of things they've agreed on that might not be followed. Or someone is afraid that the other person isn't going to do it. And that's why there's this issue between the two of them. <sighs> there's something that Harry regrets saying. To her 
because he said it at a time when he was maybe high or drunk or said it at a time when he was really disappointed or grieving or stressed. Something he regrets saying to her. And it's like this is like sneaking away with something. This is like I'm not going to leave it up to fate. I'm going to make this happen. So I'm going to tell you what's playing out in my head, right? If this isn't about, there's definitely a boundary. There's a boundary. Someone set a boundary here. This is Taylor setting a boundary. And this is Harry flaking on that boundary, okay? And it's like, we talked about this. Like, we communicated. I think, I thought it was clear. I think that sometimes she was unclear or maybe she does need to define it or reiterate it a little bit more. But I also feel that Harry needs to follow through on something. There is something he regrets saying, he regrets promising, or he regrets doing. Um, and there's something that she's keeping him from doing. She can't do that. He has to choose to do this or else it just doesn't work, right? Wisdom is light as a feather. So this is wisdom or information that comes to you easily. And then the unexpected, a change that you didn't see coming. Why did that flip off? Believe. Okay, so yeah, okay, so sorry. This is spirit confirming to me that I'm on the right track with the information that I got. So, but what's the unexpected? There's a twist, okay? So it, I might not be getting exactly what is going on, but the energy is similar. That's what they're trying to say, okay? The energy is similar, um, but there's something that we're not understanding. So remember the example I gave to you and... Just be open-minded as to how it applies, essentially, okay? Uh, yeah, aura cleansing and health. See, there's something about health. So that's Harry's side of this relationship with Taylor. Keep your temper. Like I said, she's the one that's angry. She's the one that's coming through as frustrated with him about something. I will show you whom to trust. So that's about trust issues. What did I say, right? Cast away, feeling abandoned. Honor the masculine, feeling abandoned by the guy. On also, isn't this a very Harry Styles picture? Like tattoos and all. Isn't that so interesting? I love these cards. Um, yeah. Where do we see this relationship going between the two of them? Oh, well... I'm going to leave it at that. Goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so I see someone kind of changing their brand aesthetic or getting closer to new types of people after this relationship. That's like dating someone that's very different. I do see them. This is something, this is an actual relationship. Like this is something where the reason why there is so much emotion here is because these people do care about each other. Um, yeah. Hold on. What did I say? Ooh, see, she feels a sense of responsibility. Although why? Okay, so she, Taylor definitely really cares about Harry. But the problem is I think she's treating him like her responsibility. And I don't think that flies well with him because that makes him feel constrained. Like it's, I feel like I feel myself shaking. This might be a connection to drugs really. But like, I feel myself shaking as if like, I don't like, I can't do this. No, like there's a bit of a fear of commitment on his side. But also this feeling of like, I don't want to be controlled. Like I don't want someone to mother me. Um... But what did I say? He doesn't follow through with what he says he's going to do. Promises that never come to be empty words, not, not living in the now. This is also cupcakes. This is a vice. This is like, I don't know what it is. It could be sex. It could be um, drugs. It could be like food. It could be something else. But there's something that he's doing. Frog Princess and the Black Cat. Lost Magic. The Frog Princess. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I might not know. Um, atonement. Atonement and rebalance. What does this mean? <laughs> um, okay, hold on. So my question was, 
Let me walk that back because I, I freaking don't understand what I just asked. I asked, like, what is the thing that Harry's doing or not doing? Yeah, he's not listening to her. She's advising him on something. And it's like he agreed to it, but he, he ends up not listening. And it's like, if, for example, if he's supposed to apologize to someone... Yeah, no, atonement. Yeah, this is taking a responsibility. That's how I want to phrase this. It's not necessarily atonement for your sins, but it's taking a responsibility for something. He's not doing it. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Anyway, um, what's next for Harry? What do we see? Endurance, keep going. I feel like he needs to take a break. Oh my gosh, like why my chest get, just got tight all of a sudden? And can I be honest with you? Like, because I know that he, I mean, he is the way he is, right? He's doing like the tours and everything. But I just saw Elvis. So like a, a very quick flash of that. So this is a reunion. Ooh, that's a reunion. I see him keeping on going, but I think he needs a break. He needs like a, a medical kind of break or like a rest, like genuine rest. Because if not, something medical is going to come up. And my chest and lung area, like my chest area is essentially where I felt it, um, tightening. So it could, be, it could just be anxiety, right? Um, and yeah, I mean, if he'd wise counsel, that could also be therapy, right? But there's something he's not doing for his health that he should be. Now, imaginary friend, this is like, I see like someone, a reunion with someone from the past. Could that be one direction? I don't know. Avoiding conflict. This is, that's five people, but it's avoiding conflict. So that's like, maybe, maybe it's not necessarily a reunion. King of Cups. That is an emotional post. Words spoken, a tribute. And there are five of them, right? In one direction. That's like if Harry were to say something that's like the boys, you know, like love to the boys. I don't know. Something like saying something about them, posting something about them. What's next for Taylor? <clears throat> Ooh, I want to be a queen. I'm seeing a brand, a brand makeup, but also, you know what I'm seeing? I'm like, and I know it's, it might just be because she reminds me of like Zoe Kravitz sometimes. Like I kind of mistake them too in my head sometimes, but like, I know it's like, I can't, when I can't remember names essentially, but like, I'm seeing something like Catwoman. I can't stop imagining her as Catwoman, basically Taylor Russell. But this also reminds me of like very glamorous roles. I don't know. I honestly like I haven't really seen her in many movies. Like, sorry, but I see this like I keep seeing skincare. Like I almost feel like I see myself like, you know, like posing for a campaign that's all white. And I see like just I don't know my face zoom zooming in on my face. So like that's skincare or like, I don't know. You you know what I'm getting at. Cosmetic skincare is something like a brand deal, but it's something about the face or skin. Um, but the queen is here. Hair, maybe even. There's something about Taylor and brand deals in relation to skin, cosmetics, or hair. Now, the queen here, this is like, this is like more regal roles. So it could literally be acting like a queen or like something in relation to... I, I want to say glamorous because I, I know the way that she looks is something she looks very classy to me like just as a person but like I keep seeing her in roles like that like I don't really see her in anything else like I see something like Audrey Hepburn-esque so I don't know what else to make of that um maybe it's just the way maybe she's gonna take a take inspiration from something like that Atlantis Rapid development. Oh, she's getting an award for something. Yeah, because that's the cat. Like, I keep thinking of that. The queen and the cat, that's a ward. Is there an award ceremony coming? She's getting an award for something soon. Or, I don't know. So this is like award reward um, acknowledgement. There's something that she's, like, achieving soon. The right way. Like, this is so interesting, but I can't... This is also, like, this is reminding me of the crown of England, but I don't know what that has to do with anything because I don't think she's a singer, right? Hmm. Is she going to get to meet, like, royalty? Is that what's going on? 
I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me get some more clarification on that. I will watch over you. I just feel like with Taylor, I don't know what this is yet. Learning to create what you desire. What the fuck does that mean? Because this is about career. I don't think this is personal life. There's paperwork. I don't understand that. That's like the vibe of I'm coming to England to, to meet the king or something like that. So maybe there's something about um, maybe being acknowledged in England. Maybe this is just her standing at an award ceremony. I, I can't tell what this is. I'm so sorry. But like there's something about acknowledging her or her acknowledging someone so i just see i keep seeing her on stage with like a trophy in hand something like that or the the envelope and the crown right that's like if you think about it like the trophy like an oscars or something oh my god i can't i, I don't remember those terms but like or and the the trophy itself and the envelope that has the names of the people gosh this is so difficult i don't know what it's going to be about but there's something of an award ceremony a tribute I don't know. I'm going to leave it at that. Or by any chance, like, hey, maybe she'll meet the king. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't think that's it. That doesn't like make sense or click in my mind. But hey, you know, stranger things have happened. So uh, we, we shall see. Um, yeah, don't put down your pitchforks. Don't come after me. I'm just reading what I see here and I can't make sense of it yet. But I'm sure it'll reveal itself over time. So anyway, um, I really got to go. I'm super tired and I feel a little bit sick. So I'll see you next time. And comment below what else you want me to do a reading on. If you want to book a reading with me, book me at mediumisabella.com. Everything you need is in my description box below. Okay, bye.